Hello, everyone. So we're going to be continuing with the select command today. And uh, in this part of the video, we are going to be learning the distinct clause, the ways of performing calculation with the select command, how do you insert text using a select command, and the order by clause. Okay, so let's just get started. Now coming to the distinct clause, when do we actually make use of the distinct clause? Whenever you want to avoid repetitions while displaying, what do I mean by this? When I say select job from EMP, what would this command do? It would go to the job column, pick up all the jobs in that column and display it to me. Now, do you agree with me that there would be repetition in that column? There would be multiple salesmen, multiple managers, multiple clerks. So it would show me multiple times. When you want to avoid that and show each value only once in a particular column, in that scenario, we make use of the distinct clause. Now, what's the format of writing the distinct clause? We write the word select, then you write distinct, then you write the column that you're referring to. In the example that I gave, I would say select distinct job from where, from EMP. And then if you have certain conditions that you're looking for people whose salary is more than 500 or who are in department 10, you could continue with a condition as well. The regular conditions that we have been writing before. But it does not mean that where is a compulsory statement when we use the distinct clause, you may or may not have a condition. Depending upon that, the where statement or the where uh, clause will appear in the select command or will not appear. Is that clear? So let's get uh, to an example of the distinct clause. It says to display the department numbers in the company. Okay, so how do I get to the department numbers in the company? Suppose I write select. Okay, and I write D-E-P-T-N-O from EMP and I put a semicolon. What would happen is it would go to the department number column and show me all the values there. There would be certain values which are repeated. It would show the repeated values as well. You, When you are wanting to know the various departments in the company, you just need to see 10, 20, 30. You don't need to see 10 multiple times or 20 multiple times or 30 multiple times. So in that scenario, what do we do? We introduce the distinct clause. So when I write select distinct DEPTNO from EMP, what would that mean? That you show a particular value in that column only once and not repeat it. Is that clear? Now in this question, I did not have a condition. So I've not been writing a where statement. But suppose the question said, display the department numbers in the company where the people work as clerks. So I would say where job is equal to clerk. So your statement may or may not have a condition. Clear? Okay, let's get ahead to the next topic. The next topic is talking about how do I perform calculations in my select command? Now, when I want to perform calculations, the calculation is written along with the select line. Look at the syntax. It says select the column name or names that you want to select from the table, whatever calculation you want to do. And for this particular calculation, since it is not coming from the table, you want a specific heading. So you write the word as, and after that, you specify the heading in quotes. Now, let me talk about this quotes. If your heading is a single word, like tax, you don't need to necessarily put a quotes. You could do, uh, perform the calculation for tax there, write as tax. But suppose your heading is annual tax. Now, annual tax consists of two words. When the heading is more than a word, then the double quotes is necessary. Okay. Then from table name, where condition as usual. Now, look at this question. It says display employee number, name, salary, and annual salary. 
you know that employee number exists in the table, name exists in the table, salary also exists in the table, but there is no column called annual salary. So they're expecting me to calculate the annual salary. And we all know annual salary is nothing but monthly salary multiplied by 12, okay? So how do I go about writing the command? I would write select. What are the things I want to select? Employee number, which is under the heading EMPNO. Name, which is under the heading E name, salary, which is under the heading sal. And after that, I want to display the annual salary. So there is no column called annual salary. So I'm giving a formula there. What is the formula? The salary column multiplied by 12. That's the calculation. Then you write the keyword as, and after that, you specify the heading. What is the heading I wanted to give? is annual salary. Now, why is the double quotes necessary here? Because the heading consists of two different words. From where? From a table named as EMP. Now, in this question, do I have a condition? No. Because I do not have a condition, I don't necessarily have to write the where statement. Clear? Let's look at uh, some more examples. It says display the name and tax of all clerks where tax is 10% of the salary. So what do I write? I write select e name, comma. Most commonly ma made mistake is people write tax, but there is no column called tax. But they've told you how to calculate tax. Tax is what? 10% of salary. 10% of something, how do we write? 10 divided by 100 multiplied by sal. Okay, now this calculation, you want it to be coming under the heading called tax. So I write tax. Now, since tax is a single word, you don't necessarily need to put the quotes. But if you want, you could put, and it's not an issue at all. Okay, from where? From EMP. But it doesn't stop with this. Because if you read the question, it says you're only talking about people who are clerks, which means there is a condition in your question that the job must be storing the value clerk. Is that clear? Okay, let's go to another one. Display the name and total salary of employees getting a commission where total salary is sum of commission and salary. So again, a calculation. So I have select name, which is under E name, comma. Now there is no column called total salary. So what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be writing the formula. What's the formula? It says it's commission plus sal. Under which heading? Under the heading total salary and I'm getting the data from which table a table named as EMP so I write from EMP now is there a quest a um, condition in the question it says display the name and total salary of employees getting a commission so there is a condition so I write where COMM is the commission column is not null. So what does that mean? The commission column is not left blank. It does have a value. Okay. So they could be asking you any kind of calculation that you need to be writing in the select command. So definitely remember in the select statement, you write the formula that gives you the calculation. You write as and you specify the heading that you would want for this particular calculated value. Clear? Okay, let's get ahead. Okay, now let's learn about inserting text into the select command. All this while you were displaying columns from the table directly, but suppose between the columns you wish to see some messages, you could do so by seeing the example given below. So display the name and the job and the department number, okay, which I've missed writing in the question in the following format. And they've given you a format, which means after the e-name column, you want a message works as, then you want the job column, then you want a message in department, and then you want the DEPTNO 
column to appear. So how do I do this? You write select E name because that's the column that you want to display first. After that, you want a message works as. After that, the column named as job. After that, in department. And after that, you want to display the DEPTNO. But all this is coming from which table? From the EMP table. So when you do this, it'll say Jones works as clerk in department 10, or Mark works as manager in department 20, and it'll do it for all the employees of your EMP table. Is that clear? Okay, let's look at another example. It says display the name and the salary of employees in the following manner. You want E name column to be displayed, earns the salary of, then the salary and the dollar symbol. So how do I go about? I write select E name, comma. What's the message I want to give? Earns a salary off. After that, I want the salary column to be displayed. After that, I want the dollar sign to be displayed. And this is all coming from which table? A table named as EMP. Is that clear? So did you understand wherever you want to insert a text, you can easily insert. Remember, the text has to be in quotes, whether it's one word, 10 words, doesn't matter. It has to be in quotes. And don't forget to put commas when you're done with a particular column, which means what? E name was a column name. So I put a comma, then wrote the message, then comma, then the next column name and so on. Clear? OK, let's go ahead. The last thing that we're going to learn in this video is the order by clause. Now, what do I mean by the order by clause? Suppose I give a command, select star from EMP. What do you think? Which employee will be shown first? Or will it be arranged according to their employee numbers? Or will it be arranged according to their names? Nothing like that. When you say select star from EMP, what does it do? It will display the contents of the table as it is. That means whatever was entered first will be displayed first and whatever was entered last will be displayed last. So however you have created the table and inserted the values into it, in that order, the, comma, the data will be displayed. But, you know, we have times where we need to actually, let's say, display in alphabetical order of names or in decreasing order of salary and so on. Then how do I do this? I can attach a clause called order by clause with the select command to do so. So I have my select as it is, from and where as it is, concentrate on the order by line. It says order by, then you specify which column do you want to order it by? Is it the name? Is it the employee number? Is it the salary? After that, how do you wish to order this? Do you wish to order it in ascending order? Do you wish to order it in descending order or so or whatever? Okay, by default, you need to remember that it is going to be arranged in ascending order. So you don't necessarily have to write ASC, but DESC is a must if you're talking about showing something in descending order. Put comma, do you want to order by another column as well? So you write column two, then the ascending, descending, and go on with the number of columns that you want to order on. But remember one thing, that the second column works for all the columns having common value in column one. Now, what do I mean by this? The statement would have confused you a little, but when we look at an example, I will explain to you. And from your syllabus point of view, your order by statement will either be order on one column or max two columns. Is that clear? Okay, so let's just look at some examples now. It says display the details of employees of department 10 in the ascending order of their salaries. So display the details of employees. So what do I write? Select star from where from EMP. Is there a condition in the question? Yes, the condition is that you're talking about someone who belongs to department 10. So where DEPTNO is equal to 10. 
but now you don't want them to be displayed in the way it's stored in the table but you want them in the ascending order of their salaries so you write order by and which is the column you're ordering by salary next to it do i really need to write asc no need because even if i don't write asc it is going to be ordering in ascending order clear okay let's look at some more examples display the details of employees in the reverse alphabetical order of their names when you say reverse alphabetical order what does it mean normally alphabetical order would mean alphabet a to alphabet z reverse alphabetical order would mean z to a z to a is considered to be a decree the descending order okay so how do i have my command i write select star from emp now in this question just check carefully do we have a condition no so i don't need a where i directly write order by and what by order by what by the name of the employee that too in reverse alphabetical order so that too in descending order so i write d e s c is that clear let's look at one more example where probably we can you know order by two column and i can explain to you what exactly happens display the details of employees in the ascending order of department number and within the department in the descending order of salary okay so select star from emp is there a condition no so order by you want to order by department number so d e p t n o but in which order do you want you want it in ascending order so you write asc or you don't write it is going to be as uh, ascending itself and then further you want it in the or descending order of salary so you write sal d e s c okay now what kind of uh, output do you uh, expect to see for that let me just talk about some employees i have employee a b c d e in 10 this is in 20 in 20 in 10 and in 10 salaries are 200 100 400 750 1 50 okay suppose this uh, these are the three columns name department number and salary now what would be the answer of this one it is going to order by department number first that means all the tens will come first followed by the 20s and if there were 30s then followed by the 30s now when i say all the tens will come first we have three people in 10 employee a employee d and employee e then whose detail will be uh, displayed first will it be a d e order no it will be in the order of their salaries in descending so a has 200 salary d has 750 e has 150 so the first record is going to be 10 d i mean uh, d 10 750 so first of all it will order by department number that means all the tens first so in the 10 i have three people a d and e if i had stopped my command as order by d b t n o all the tens on top in the order that they appear in the table followed by all the 20s but now because you said order by d e p t n o comma salary so when does the salary ordering start for all the people with the same department number so we have three people with the same department number that's a d and e so i order them in the descending order of their salaries so you have d first then you have a because his salary is 200 okay and then you have e from department 10 because his salary is 150 following this you will have the next two people i'm just writing it here who are the next two people in department 20 but in department 20 also i have two people so b and c who will i write first depending upon the descending order of salary so i have c 20 followed of 400 salary and b 20 with 100 salary so basically this is a part of this okay below this so you will have all the elements ordered by department number 10 followed by department number 20 but in department 10 or within department then you have arranged them according to their salaries is that clear so i hope everything in this video is clear okay 
And if you have liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.